Disney, man. Disney has lost $5 billion during this whole pandemic. $5 billion? Yeah, man. And they're, they're trying to save themselves by moving their movies online to a subscription-based thing. It's about time. I think... I think uh, that's unfortunate you know i'm like one of those people that like to sit down in the movie theater and really you know watch the movie you know i feel like with the avengers coming out like last summer i think the part two of the infinity war Mm. i just like going to see big blockbuster movies like that and it just won't be the same uh when they move these big blockbuster movies like avengers and stuff to the online subscription service. I mean, come on, man. You, you got a 4K TV? You wouldn't want to see that on a in your living room? Nice and cozy? No, man. No, you you want to see it on the same. silver Honestly, screen? On you, the huge I IMAX you. screen. Gotcha. Yeah. Or, you know, IMAX 3D if that's possible. Yeah. Or like with, with that the Adobe... Butter. Yeah, with the, oh, the yeah. popcorn, <laughs> the movie theater popcorn, the yeah. Adobe sound or whatever they have in the movie theater. This is just not the same. Like... I know experience. people are going to pay for the subscription because they want to see the movie still and they want to support Disney mm-hmm. the legal way, you know. <laughs> but uh, I feel like, you know, it's just not going to be the same. I want to actually sit down in the movie theater. I wish there was some way to social distance in the movie theater and, like, maybe have a lower capacity for the movie theater, mm-hmm. but uh, still have the movies playing, you know. So maybe have like two seats in between every person or one seat in between every person and just sanitize the seats after each uh, screening. Don't have you think that's going to be extremely costly? I mean, I mean, you go I, to I don't even I don't even think all the restaurants sit there and do that nonsense, you know? Have you been in um like a Harris Teeter or something recently? Uh, it, or Sprouts or something? Yeah. They are constantly wiping down the the uh what was the shopping carts? <laughs> And I feel like that's a, a lot of... Dude, I, I went to supplies. Lytle one time. I, I saw where the person is actually supposed to spray down the carts and stuff. The person wasn't even there. Okay. You, so I was you like... count them, man. They, <laughs> they were chilling that day. But, uh, okay. I mean, I, I guess if they want to enforce it, they can. If they don't, then yeah, they're that, just going Yeah, that's the problem. The enforcement is the issue. And if they were to open up the movie theaters, that would be a big problem problem because you know theater it's usually dark um at, at least during the theater um thing and uh people do crazy things when uh you know when the lights are dim and so you might see trash all over the place when the lights turn back on you know the full brightness and the guys come in and sweep the area but you got to think about it because um they they can they there is a possibility of them being able to sanitize the entire area and do all that good stuff they would probably need one of those gas um not gasoline but like those gas vapor uh sanitization man machines uh to just go over all of the seats and and and, and floor and all that good stuff it just seems very costly man it just seems like a very uh all they do is just get like a, a hand sanitizer spray <laughs> And they just go through with a big hand sanitizer spray, and they spray the whole room, and just let it drop over the the dirty popcorn and sticky candy on the ground, and that get, that gets rid of the germs, man. It hey works man, just you, like that. you could probably invent something like you just, that. that. It's, just a, it's just a spray, man. You just spray it, and it and it, and it, and it lands on oh the the popcorn and this and like the sour patch That's kids disgusting. on the floor. That's disgusting. Oh and then it, even if you touch all that stuff, it's still the germs are gone. It just looks oh. nasty. Wow. All right. I'm just, well, I, I don't good, think good that's Good luck with that, thing, man. But. Good luck with that. Um, but but uh, all joking aside, it, it is a very sad situation what we found, what the country has found itself uh, in. I feel like uh, this is a very important to mention. Uh, a lot of theaters were already having issues uh, to begin with towards the tail end in 2019. And to have this pandemic hit hard. So it's not just Disney. It's it's a lot of ripples, you know, going on because a lot of people have been impacted because of this. Um, I feel like the theaters are gonna have a hard time trying to swing back unless unless there's a, like a lot of people just like you that want to sit there and go back to a theater and enjoy the ad experience um, in you know in a big space with a lot of people with the butter popcorn, you know, all of that and the big silver screen. If people like that experience more so than just being at home and, you know, just looking at a, a nice movie on a 4K TV with 
you know, home studio surround sound already set up and stuff. Like, you know, sometimes if you if you have a nice theater room in your own house, you know, sometimes it's just not worth it, you know, leaving your... <laughs> Unless you have, like, a projector or something, it doesn't it doesn't seem the same. Like, mm-hmm. 4K television doesn't feel like a movie theater experience. Yeah, 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 you're, it, you're right, you're right. Like, the projector or whatever type of film grain or whatever they but use. But, you know, it's all it all has to do with your own, you know experiences in your own opinion so you know not everybody's gonna feel the same way yeah know? i agree, I agree. Yeah, there's so, some people that's gonna be like hey i like my 4k television at home uh, yeah i want to chill all i'm gonna say is i hope i hope i hope the overwhelming amount of people are gonna want to go back to the theaters and support those businesses as opposed to just you know making this the norm and just doing everything at the house you know yeah, but I feel uh, like that's the thing right now. You, you don't have a choice about a lot of these things. It's like they're trying to be like, hey, you're going to get fined or, you know, there's so many rules that doing certain things wouldn't even be enjoyable anymore because it's like there's so many precautions you have to take. So it's like I might as well just stay at home, you know, and not have to deal with all that. At least that's how I'm looking at it right now because a lot of things, you, you even if you can do them right now, it's probably just like I'd rather just not risk it or deal with any of the the potential uh, negative consequences. So. Yeah. And also, when it comes to the movie theater, this is just on the side note, I feel like when it's like a really big anticipated movie, there's nothing like going to see that like with a whole bunch of other people that are anticipating the movie. Yeah, you hear everybody he, shouting at the same time, everybody yeah, crying at the like, same time. When we went to see, what was that, Dragon Ball Super. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, there's nothing like that. Like, you can't replicate There were that moments where house. people were like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, it was like... Yeah, it the, was just the camaraderie, just like the all of the, yeah, the, yeah. the camaraderie no, I, I and gotcha. all that. It's just like... He, it's like but a bunch of people can't that you, enjoy Can't the you same just thing. do a Zoom meeting and just have the <laughs> oh, <laughs> have no, the movie man. all playing at the same time? Like, tell everybody, hey guys, let's start the movie at the same time. Ready? Go, you know? <laughs> everybody pushes the play button. That's yeah, it. that would that would be terrible. Uh, man. That's just like <laughs> that just that, I think that would even make it even less enjoyable, oh actually. Like because then you'd be looking at all these little screens, these little like these little tiny squares, I mean, <laughs> on the screen. And it's like everybody's like, Hey, did you see that man? And it's somebody lags and they're like, Wait, wait, wait. Oh, you already... Wait, I'm a little bit behind you. You just spoiled it, man. You just spoiled it. And it's like... You might have some... Also, you might have some people back up the film a little bit to certain sections. Exactly. And so, yeah, like, yeah, that might be... That might not work as, uh, you know, as, as well. But anyway, thank you all so much for listening. Um, I hope... I sure hope Disney, you know, fixes their issues. And I hope all the theaters uh, reopen at some point. Um, we really hate seeing that this thing is ballooned into this huge situation uh but i do think we're you know at some point the you know whole, whole country is going to rebound and uh, things will hope uh, and hopefully at some point get back to normal but with that being said thank you all so much for watching please leave a comment down below let us know what you think hit that subscribe button and also leave a uh, a thumbs up that really does help out the channel a lot uh we'll talk to you in the next one or see you in the next one